Radiant Team Bang. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Wow. Dire Team Ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. <laughs> faceless versus Mineski, and Faceless is currently up 1-0 in this best of three. We are Radiant in the lower bracket, so if Mineski lose one more, we're gonna have a repeat in the grand final of Faceless versus Clutch Gamer. I think Mineski's got more fight in them though, so I expect them to take it back in game two and force a game three. I think last game was a lot Ten about which remain. bruiser could outlast the other one. Five seconds remaining. Uh, compared to Missile Back, and eventually I think the troll <laughs> have a secondary damage dealer on the side. Because Radiant team pick. I entirely. It's kind of the story of that game, I think. Well, immediately Abaddon pick here by Mineski. They also do take out the Treant. So a lot of respect to the faceless draft from Mushi. Ten Meanwhile, seconds yeah, I brought... remaining. I do want to point They're out that a... there is a. Clockwork man, sorry. Yeah, that's remaining. that's exactly what I was going towards. Clockwork man. Clockwork's actually played. A, I'm not sure how he's played in SEA, but a lot of Radiant times you play him in like the four position. You get the boots. Is that how he's. Yeah, Adam actually, Adam actually like took over the game uh, the other day when he played Clockwork. Well, it's combined with the Mushi Shadowfiend, so Shadowfiend got souls from the Clockwork Hogs, and then he just like single-handedly took over remaining. the game by winning two two out of three lanes in like four minutes. Adam is amazing on the remaining. That's uh, a very annoying hero. He's like my uh, starting base move. It's like Faceless going for a pretty standard. They're able to. Let's see them pick up a very early terror. Much, but. He's seeing a quarter that early. This Right. Actually, going back to the clockwork, uh, I'm glad you clock. brought up the movements because uh, Adam Dyer in that game went for Tranko Boots and then a Wind Lace on top of that. So when his Tranko was broken, he had 400 movement speed. When it wasn't broken, he was just like, he was moving fast. Let's just put it that way. All right, we got a, we, we got a Kunkka Ten after the CM. Remaining. So no, yeah. no, no surprise here, I guess. Five seconds remaining. I'd like to see the Kunkka. Games that I've seen him so far, he hasn't been too successful. He's always a fun hero to watch. He's got some pretty interesting. Radiant team. He's a draft pretty old. So we'll see. Uh, open in terms of like what you can call. Have minutes. Spirit here. I find the, the role of Earth Spirit and Kunkka to be fairly remaining. similar. Obviously, Kunkka to me much better when it comes to the actual team fight, and Five also somewhat better when it comes to the initiation. But Earth Spirit could just be so mobile in the in the lanes, and he could actually I don't want to say win the game, but at least win lane very very hard. I always wonder what happened to this hero. Like at least in the past two three weeks, he hasn't really been picked in DC or Chinese scene. Yeah, that's uh, something. I think Earth Spirit is mostly delegated to those specialists. Sometimes we'll... a lot of other teams kind of tend to uh, stray away from. He has been nerfed quite a bit. That Dyer slow is not as potent. Bang. Used to be a couple. See how well they're able to work. He's a lane winner. 
Tron Link. Since we're Radiant as, team has a little bit. As right. you said, he's also a little. I mean, XY is definitely considered as an Earth Spirit Specialist. Um, used to actually get respected that ban a lot. But as of late, Kraces hasn't Ten even been running it, even remaining. when it's not banned out. So they've been more on the Kunkka train instead. Five seconds remaining. Uh, the reason for Earth Spirit is that he's a uh, follow up Dyer on the Abaddon, I guess. Ban. Sometimes far ahead of the seconds to count. You don't want to be doing that late in the game. Five, six minutes. Ten seconds remaining. All right, we got uh, a lot of respect bands being taken out. Five monkey, there's not Monkey remaining. King. Shadow Fiend and Timbersaw. Speaking of Monkey King, uh, reserve. Yeah, wh where's this guy? I thought he's OP or something. Monkey King, uh, you know, you want to know a stat from the Kiev Major that I actually looked up. Uh, so I was talking with uh, everyone was saying Monkey King's like really good. So I was like, no, dude. King's only good for the teams that know how to run him. I actually looked up the stats, and he had like a 30% win rate after stages, I think. And he was most, or the second most picked. So Radiant the thing is, the teams team that know how to run him, they run him well. But when everyone's picking him, he's one of those heroes that is, I think he has that other problem. Really good early on, he's able to, he has this period where he does like very little, and then he gets really good. So, Ten right. seconds remaining. Got some. Peak. He also has a lot of counters. Uh, pretty much any remaining. vision, any any vision based hero or any hero that can get vision over trees is going to be extremely Reserve good against him. <laughs> All right, Faceless is going to answer back that Abaddon uh, with the Bristleback. We seen this matchup. Maybe Faceless will force a one v one matchup and then make Mag cry. Is that the? This is a role reversal again, so I think Isis has played remaining. Bristleback twice and the Abaddon once, so he's played it quite a bit Five today. Um, of course, remaining. in this matchup, this is going to be his. Right. So, Reserve time. If they're able to get that Abaddon Bristleback again, extremely favorable back once again. Abaddon, of course. Not. Matchup really hard. Actually wants Dazzle. to. But Dazzle here. Radiant okay. team pick. Uh, I think they've seen the draft on Faces earlier where it was Bristle, Dazzle, and Terrorblade together. And it was really, really tough to break. I mean, the OD did do it, but Mel did also play like a G in that game. <laughs> yes, he... They, he, they will deny the remaining. Dazzle, and Ninja Boogie is a, a great Dazzle player. So a lot of Five good kind of defensive remaining. capability. My question is can you put Black? on Bristol and pick up an Axe, because I feel like Axe is time. quite good here. Yeah, Axe is good. Um, then you're going to need... You're going to need a really strong... Uh, blade is bad, <laughs> so... I mean, you need an independent core, uh, all jokes aside, so it's going to be a little bit difficult if you go for an Axe, because... That does... Uh, Bristleback's okay at taking objectives, he's decent at taking Roshan, and he's... Meh, at taking powers. So if you have someone that you can kind of follow up with, those, it'll be hard to find that, you know, specific. I think, I think just with the Kunkka and Axe alone, you already have some strong gank and teamfight initiation power. Shower but I go with the Troll instead. Team pick. Uh, the thing I was getting at, it was, it was not so much about the initiation, uh, it was more of objective gaming. Once you're actually, team say you're on like even a hero that can actually take, you know, towers, say... That's kind of what's going at. Troll is pretty good, so they can always circle back and go for Max, but... Um, Ten seconds remaining. Max is pretty decent. Uh, OD as well. Pop Blade Mill and he's... Five seconds remaining. Well, it also depends, right? Because if you get anybody except the OD, the Astro is going to make you look time. pretty silly. So, I think seeing the OD pick... <sighs> Uh, I I don't think you want the axe anymore. Dire team ban. We'll see. It's it's a two way street for sure. It does really well against Ab. It's a pretty good point to make. Depends how you play the game. Requires a. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Right. 
Mineski has one Phantom Band. Most likely, this is going to be a safe lane troll Reserve and off lane Bristle. So, a mid hero will be a safe ban. Against OD in particular, I think Tinker in the past, Sniper in the past has been more go to ban, but neither of those heroes are exactly meta staple. So, let's. Yeah. Dire team pick. They're thinking this. Or vice versa, because I, I feel like, yeah. you know, both heroes could. Okay. I mean, I know Nyx is good against OD, remaining. but I don't think Nyx was good, really good pick here at all. Five seconds don't think remaining. they would have picked. Is this Mushi using a band to protect Reserve himself? High. Maybe. So incoming? For who? For Mineski? For, uh, yeah. Why Medusa? Band out the Nyx? Why? I mean, can Black just pick Anti Mage and low on your Medusa? And you pick Medusa. And, and but Luna. that's still pretty. Okay. Radiant team pick. They don't have two great ways of locking down the Medusa. Typically, when you go for an Anti Mage like that, some weight Mage does get the. Ten seconds remaining. Luna's a pretty good pick. Five That's a good remaining. that much. Yeah, it's it's an okay pick, but it doesn't feel like it's doing anything particularly great. Right? They add some team fight, which in combination with Eclipse and Magnetize, Maneski's now got quite a bit. A little bit awkward considering uh, that they have a dazzle draft and they really synergize part. Tinker, a safe, you know. Hey. Yeah, you're right on the tinker. So it's a back off lane with full. Safe lane. We don't know if it's an off. All right. I think Bristleback's gonna really do fine against Luna. Uh, Luna not exactly the greatest attack range, and honestly, Dazzle plus Luna, there's a lot of good harassment damage. But I think for Bristleback, harassing him is not enough. I feel like you really need to force out kills. The other big uh, about Bristleback, it doesn't do too. Right. This is going to be a pretty lane if they do want to just... Ski, he should... I wonder... Ten seconds remaining. I wonder yeah, if Faceless should... Uh... I Five wonder if Faceless should force remaining. a 1v1 by going offensive with uh, Black. Here's the strength of going aggro, especially against a hero like Earth Spirit or for playing as Monkey King. You force that roamer to stay right lane, and Earth Spirit does not stay in like a truck. So you could, you do have that, and of course, the back does it. Fast. All right, let's get into it. Is there a team's draft that you, you favor here? Hmm. This has a funny draft. Prepare for battle. A little bit all over the place. The roll. Might have seen Adam place the board, but I said I sees. Sorry, not sees that there is no ward to be placed on the way out. And I'm gonna back it up as well. Seems like this ward spot has been uh, being very popular where you walk up here and you ward in the low ground. <laughs> Mushi walks mid, drops the most obvious ward spot, but then the smoke ran out, so that, now they know. Easiest D ward. They already gave uh, jabs to Sentry. I like this. Of two. Thirty seconds to battle. Wait, what do you mean? 
They don't know where the other sentry is. They know what where sorry, they know where one of the ops is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wondering why he's not deep. Oh, no, he gave it to Japs. Japs has a sentry. Japs is going to take that at 100 gold. No point he wouldn't now. Can you even use it for, for regen? The battle begins. I'm a warrior. Has a very... Going for Looks the like one. Which, I mean, it makes a lot of sense, right? You're up against the first one. Yeah, and uh, typically see the circle into line branches. Oh, it's a little safer. Mm -hmm. Right. Mid lane, the, I, I think Jabs is going to win this lane actually quite easily. It is going to be a wash, but he's going to pressure pretty hard. Uh, where she is, by the lane. I think so. We're gonna have to dedicate the Earth to a little. Trying to pressure Isis as a great knocker. Yep. He's soaking up Eager. I think he has to make some rotation to help Mushi out a little bit. Well, the Venom slow, being applied. They could roll on him if they want, but I think without access into Beam, a level two, it just will take too much to get the kill. But Isis says is out of the mana. This is. Really, the way that he played the lane earlier when he was up with the Abaddon, went up to the base, pretty much expended his mana pool, and then kind of reserved the, the shrine for, for later on. Yeah, I think he actually be used. Thing. You know, bottom lane looks like Abaddon's just. Once again, we kind of said. That is particularly. Abaddon, once he. Until then, Abaddon should have a... This time he's not getting... Got harder. He's already sitting at level. Yep. Mid lane, they were trying to set up a kill here on Jabs uh, with the Astro and the Rowan. Fortunately, oh, Jabs uh, was able to pressure down Wushi so much that... Kind of just have to Astro run. Maybe we're gonna see it one more time, or are we gonna see the Rowan? Her spear is just running away. Yeah, Tinker's actually gotten... It. Speed that was right. Get yeah, harder to what have we here? some down. But here comes the rotation from Faceless Nova, or is it a blind horn that's gonna be hitting? Horn's gonna fly up here. It will hit here on Mushi, and Mushi will get frosted enough as well. Astro going on the Crystal Maiden, but can he actually walk it off? The X marks the spot. They will pull him back, and who's gonna get the last hit? Crystal Maiden will pick it up here. Yeah, I think they were trying their best to get Right. Trying up here. Pretty good AOE. Yeah, well, Abaddon. Yeah, almost over here. Just... I mean, I think that's okay for Faceless, because once Black picks up the face boot, he can solo zone mag. This is a matchup we've seen, I think, once earlier today already. So... I like this it's persistent be... ganks on the mid lane. Yeah, that's... They have one of two things. Try to zone up Abaddon, or... Like, a little bit... They're a little bit hessy here, they're not... They're not gonna kill him. Applying a little bit of pressure. It's gonna be a little bit harder this time around for Black to actually pressure Abaddon, because he does have sufficient... Mm -hmm. A pretty decent job. Well... It's, it's still gonna be... You say that Mag is just... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's still gonna be hard. Yeah. And I feel like it. Likewise, this is not gonna be true on the other half of the map, right? I feel like Luna really needs Dyer's the help of the other supports. Dazzle in particular to stay there. And it's not like that Dazzle is the best roamer either. He is gonna rotate mid to drop a couple wards here. But I feel like, relatively, uh, the Tinker is gonna feel really safe. I'd like you to take a look at Dazzle's movement. Okay. This is the life of support. All right. True support. <laughs> <laughs> Position 7 support, right? Looks like Isis Ice is pressuring. I mean... Yeah, that's what you're saying. It's not too much that the Abaddon can... Lord, but it's not the same the other way. Also, back in definitely... The support's kind of... Okay. 
back might, might be in a little bit of trouble here. Now he trukes around the tree lines. Black will give up the chase. Top lane, they bring him down pretty low. Nice roll in coming through. The spikes are doing some damage, but Ninja Boogie will pick up the kill with the poison. Not a poison rank up, just a, just a level 1 poison. And of course, Raging Potato giving his team a lot of aura to output the damage. Pretty surprised. Uh, you know, you know, even if Bristleback does go for a Vanguard. Pretty interesting considering Luna um, is the Lunar Blessing and it makes support a damage. That poor man. Faceless, another smoke. They've been kind of going through these uh, quite rapidly, trying to set up gank. They know that Luna is relatively low HP. Even with the grave coming through, they have so much slow and disable that they probably killed him through the grave. Yeah, he also doesn't have grave level. Oh, you're right. Even if he did have the grave, right? The maiden comes around. Kind of an awkward angle to tower dive. Smoke ends, and I don't know if Ninja Buki had vision. I want to say no. In fact, the X is going to start things off. The one's going to be their eyesight, or nuts. Nova's through the tree, but yeah, no creep support. And Ration Potato will be fine here. What I think they know is that this time around, the uh, bag actually had from Crystal Maiden. So. Oh, true. Radiant's middle tower is under He's gonna have a great time. Tinker's gonna have a really, really... Crystal Maiden, she's... Typically, you'll see her just kind of, you know, ducked away in the jungle, but she's already at level 4, you know, applying a lot of pressure. Very well played by... Yep. I mean, one thing we, we did mention during the draft was that Earth Spirit was supposed to be the lane winner. Do you feel like he's won any single lane yet? Uh, I think he's done a job of helping the Luna out. Um, I thought I successfully. He's made those, uh, thing is the few times he has rotated. It... Yeah, made his game. Yeah, uh, getting, getting back to uh, Spirit. I think he's done a decent job, you know, the few times he has been able to. It's not been, you know, as as impactful. Yeah, it's not a pick where you're like, okay, I'm glad we have Earth Spirit on our team. And top, Ice Ice Ice. It feels like he's just really settled in at this point. Has the fourth half ready, so if Dazzle ever is out of position now, he could just force the kill. He's rolled on his way to at least pick up that Ring of Health. Once you have that Ring of Health, you're, you're really, you know, it's gonna be really hard to remove from the lane. Nuke him down, he's got that, uh, to prevent that. It's gonna be that ring of health. Having a pretty good... He does have a map. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Laning away. Checking on Japs is a BOT timing. Halfway there. Well done on him. It's gonna finish it in like 10 minutes. 10 minutes of the is really, really good time. Yeah, it's decent now. I think people forget that the has been nerfed. Right, patches like four. I think like eight. Let's hear about 10 minutes. X marks the spot here. We'll so take up the kill and the nice, nice, nice. We'll proceed to take out the spawn as well. I mean, the one thing that the Earth Spirit has been doing extremely well, he's been pretty active at taking these runes. Uh, especially from the opposite side of the map, but... In, in the ultimate grand scheme of things, I'm not sure if that's as important as, like, as like getting a Tinker tower kill. Is under attack. I think the Kunker and the Crystal Maiden have... Sure. This is why I'm saying the Dazzle pick was a little awkward. They're kind of finagling. We're going for a smoke gank down here, though. Yeah, Luna, Smoke Gang. I mean, this should be a very big sign. Like, Luna is not top anymore. Dazzle is soaking the experience in lane. Yes, Luna can be jungling right now. But that is a that is a thing that... Because they're going to drop a or, or something. <laughs> not too sure either. The storm will fly I, out. I actually think he was trying to tank the game. Ah, oh, okay. They expect the smoke up. He wants to break the smoke. Because the way Black was playing, 
power and Radiance don't kill yourself, or at least find them. At the very don't least, kill yourself. <laughs> Give He's you like, meaning to that phrase. <laughs> He's like, a, at the very least, go scout them out for him. Um, um, he did tank the gang, so mission yeah. accomplished, I guess. Feels bad. <laughs> so they are pushing top a little bit, they force out the Abaddon route. Transition of Sure. You know. Person maybe? Radiance bottom tower By is under attack. Well, oh, they will so by coming yeah. in. Yeah, and, and the thing about X Mark spot is such a long disable. He's threatened to drop his ultimate, but there is no way he's gonna get anything done. They get the value raindrop charge off, you know? <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Uh, I think Luna was she was playing a little bit like uh, she had backup. But I think they were completely fine even if uh, you know that. Even if Dazzle's there to grieve it. Yeah, they almost need OD and Dazzle, like just to extend the fight long enough. Maybe have an ult fly out from uh, from the Luna. It's the kind of plays where you kind of tell your Abaddon like. Abaddon is showing himself. Right. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Oh, looks like I got this bank pressuring bottom down here. The only tower is already sitting out of bottom. Oh god, I just realized this is a Tunka Kunka game, isn't it? Doesn't have the astral spirit, but uh, some, some cancerous stuff could happen. This could get pretty in. I already think it's hard for them to get. So, gonna be sitting under the effects of a lot of, you know, more. It's gonna be pretty difficult. Ski here. Yeah, Maneski is already falling pretty far behind my 2000 net worth in, in about 10 minutes of gameplay. Of course, Mushi is gonna be Radiant's going for the Hannah Midas, but still a little bit away from there. And I think for Faceless, they're pretty much online, right? You've got the BOT on the on the Tinker, Trolls already ready to push down tier 1 towers. And for the supports, both of them have set level 6, so they could be a big threat in these kind of fights. Adam does take yet another rune, but now we'll get, like I said, x sorted and both on top. The silence is going to be there to slow things down, but this potato will have to retreat. I'm surprised they didn't just pack, pop the magic wand and just, you know, eclipse. But I, I don't think there's any. Yeah. They have the Coco remaining. Exactly. Yeah, I, I think at this point what you do, uh, as Luna, you, you just farm. Just give up the towers. There's supports are kind of low on the exp department you know dazzle sitting at level five meanwhile but you know he's got the level six but you know they are giving a little bit of space for the dazzle up here yeah Sweet. something i want to harken back to uh, that we saw from a couple have the luna for some of the physical damage and then uh... so it's going to be hard to completely itemize again Dyer's middle tower is Pretty under pieces. attack. Smoke's gonna be detected here by an observer ward. So, XY, your job is clear. Go break the smoke, <laughs> and hopefully don't kill yourself this time. And now, in a very good defensive spot here. They even have vision across. x Storm Bolt's gonna fly out. Luna picked up in the air. Aphotic Shield's gonna bring her back up. And now here comes Eclipse. I think she is gonna get blown up. Magnetized being spread out, but I don't think they care. They will have X cooling down one second. X on Mag, and Mag is gonna be pulled back in four seconds. Torrent's gonna be following him up. He runs the other way, dodging the Torrent. Very nicely done. Nuts gonna come through. Does have a crossfire available, but Nuts will actually kill himself. Mag making something happen. Ice, ice, ice with a question mark. Almost taunting him. And uh, looks like it will be a retreat. At the end of the day, they will get a Luna kill. On top of, uh, uh, for a Crystal Maiden. Pretty good trade, if you ask me. Radiant just fought into that Coco Rum. Uh, yeah, fighting under the effects of that Coco Rum from the. 
is under attack. Not what you want to do. Kind of soaked up all. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, we also had Mushi kind of. My house. It has zero points. Okay. Just skip that ult. I mean, honestly, apart from the the rotation that he just made. Like, he hasn't been looking to fight actively at all, right? So, I guess no point to pick your ult if you're not even going to join your fights. The other good point. They don't really have any... ...locking down. Regeneration. Right. Or a little bit more... You know, my biggest concern right now from Nesky is that we're reaching the mid-game where... Team fights are really gonna start to crop up. The Maneski cores are too underformed. I mean, you, you talked about how they have magical and physical damage, nice spread, but they don't have any items to actually do damage. Both OD and Luna are extremely item dependent, and they're very far behind uh, compared to their opponent. And also, this is the stage of the game where I think the Crystal Maiden Kunga combo is gonna shrine, uh, shine in team fights, whereas Dazzle and Earth Spirit, I'm not sure exactly how much they're gonna do, especially based on, you know, like Dazzle, for example, is worth as much as before. And when you have really weak cores, he ain't worth Jack as well. Definitely true. One thing that they do have going for them is that they had a triple stack on the ancient. But a very sharp uh, Dragon Lance. But, um, I think this is one of those games that you're just going to have to hunker down because they're being pretty extended. Uh, it's like they're just going to smoke into Rowan here. Not too much that Minus is trying to threaten a little. Well, the Weave is actually going to scout the fact that Roshan is having a farm. Quite a bit of minus armor. Nag does not have his ultimate. He used it for farming that ancient stack, so. I mean, they don't know that, but they're going to start hitting Mag a little bit. Eggs, Warren, are they going to fly out the boat? No, the Astro is going to be there, and Roshan is dropping very low. They don't have any blink ability to actually steal it. Roshan is going to go down. Now Ice 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 is already moving forward. Meanwhile, it looks like Magnetize. Not being casted just yet. Troll just going to work. They X up Mag again. Mag again. Doesn't have ult. No, he will have it after he pops back out. Ult is going to fly out. He was under 400 HP. Heals are popping up. And that ult actually did absolutely nothing here for Mag. The bolt will fly through now. Where's the Astro? No Astro here for Mag. He will go down. Ice, ice, ice. Just tanking up in the front line. The roll is going to get blocked out. Adam drops Magnetize before he dies. Mushi drops his ult. But no, Mushi picked up in the air. He is going to go down. The Grave is going to delay things a little bit. But... Looks like uh, Ninja Vicky will die. Rushi does take down the agents before dying. Jab dropping extremely low, but he's gonna be fine. That was a one for five. That was uh, excellently played by XY. He held on to that ghost ship for so long, and he did it when he died. They've kind of hardballed their opponent. Could have you know, just threw it over the Roshan bit. Very patiently played by him, and of course, just. Going ham. Hit a team wipe and a potentially a free kid. The fight kind of just migrated to next to the tier 2 tower up top, so they conveniently you know, just took the tower. Now, normally when you lose a big team fight in this early game, you're like, okay, they just use all their big ults, let's just go back and try to take an objective, right? Now, this is really common when you see like warlocks and tides in the game, but this game, it's like CMO and Kunkka ult. Like they're back already, so. Yeah, there's just there's just no counterplay from Mineski at all. They just have to go back and, like you said, hunker down. But I don't know. This is not looking good at all from Mineski. I think that's why Kunkka's pretty. Uh, I would say he's he's like underrated. Uh, I'm surprised he's not picked as often as he is. He's just able to constantly fight, and that's typically what uh, I see a lot in these Dota these days. A lot of skirmishing. Sometimes there aren't a lot of kills, but you know we're always in the fight here and there. And doing that, he's got decent kills. A little bit surprising that we don't see him. You know, another very Kunkka esque hero that we haven't been seeing at all after the new patches is Elder Titan. So, like, the two heroes. Yeah, I was gonna mention it earlier. Yeah, play, plays a very similar role. I think Kunkka is a little bit more explosive when it comes off a, a good initiation with the X marks the spot, but just lots of AoE to be thrown around. Titan is, uh. So, he just. Kind of jumping back to this game, you're exactly right about the Phoenix's ability to 
not like they have a, they're typically reliant on any spell. Speaking of close, got that BKB. That much harder. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Meanwhile, bottom. I have Mineski here, who's in one area. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, they gotta start protecting their real estate, so I get that. Smart Mineski, uh, Raging Potato, continuing his trend of uh, ancient bombing in the last game, but this farm this game is nowhere near as good as last game. But he's still trying to make the catch up. It's gonna be a Hurricane Pike next for the Luna. Something that I've seen uh, some players go is Mask of Madness on Luna. Just kind of yep. farm your, your you farm your jungle so fast. Like uh, one one game I got dumpstered. Helps kind of get back. Okay, gonna fly out here on the troll warlord. Nice turn and stun. The silence gonna be on top as well. Ice 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 in the middle of everything. This time around, Mushi really unable to actually get all those extra orb hits in against uh, the Bristol Bag. Predominantly because he doesn't have a Dragon Lance just yet. This tower is most likely. They have the tools. Probably just split up the map and farm. I think these are the ideal scenarios where you have your Luna made it. Yeah, we have. Uh, I'm not too sure why Earth Spirits in one game. It's probably be like Luna. Right. I think the. Tower. I think the example we do with the Master Man of Luna is great if there's no pressure. Like if they're not pushing the tower endlessly. Because right now, if Luna's. Oh, I, I agree with you. I think he should be off farming, but as soon as he leaves, I think these towers fall down even faster. They have a, one big problem is that they don't have any weight. Actually, have like zero. Right. Well, the weight player is Astro. That's, yeah, that's, that's uh, their weight player. So, oh, okay. uh, I know it's like probably going down. We have Ice Ice yeah. coming out with the dude. Oh, really nice wait. Astro actually coming out, and it's like uh, we're gonna have a very jabs? aggressive. Oh, Jab didn't yeah. actually use the rocket there. I don't think he had vision, so it's just nighttime, right? On the back line, though, heroes are smoked up trying to do something. That was a smoked up Abaddon trying to gank you from behind. All right, here comes the uh, bolt. Eclipse, the first Eclipse lasted about half a second, and uh, Mag's about to go down as well. My god, his HP dropped down fast. The X is going to keep him locked in place. The Martian Machine is going to kind of work as well. Ninja Booty. Oh my god, did you see the damage? All right. This game is over. Uh, is that a solar crest? Not nice. Seconds for that. Hang this one. Or axe that against this thing. So I recall a game where I think Miracle from Form of Vanessa was playing and he got pushed down so early and he was playing OD. And in a situation like this where the team really lacked uh, counter push. He got a Veil of Discord, so with a single Veil and an Astro, he actually killed a whole people. I'm not sure if that's something that Bushi could have gone to change the situation, but it feels like they're so far behind that nothing really would, would actually yeah. matter. It's really not particularly bad this game either. Right. I'm gonna get the screen here. Adam making some play, the magnetizing, quite a bit of damage, but everyone's so tanky, the bolt's gonna fly out, the grave's gonna end, and he is gonna go down. On the backline, Jab just kills through the shine. Jabs is gonna pour out. No, the beam's gonna cancel him. They will get a Jabs kill, I think. Jabs, maybe? Give him the kill. All right, Jabs actually gonna get the kill. Mushi ports back and looks like he will die pretty much instantaneously. You know, the shrine will keep him alive. Mag is in there. Mag does not have the old. Mag's gonna go down. Bristleback out of mana, but does not care. They will get themselves the lane of racks. They will get them buyback. And uh, they will get home. It's not as well. Mushi's just so under farmed. That'll. Barely took like half. Speaking about the Veil of Discord, it's pretty decent. Actually, when you think about it, because. Um... I'm not sure if uh, Veil. Good for Magnetize. Yeah, they, they're, there is some potential. Not as bad. I don't think it's as bad as it sounds. Definitely. Is. Right, Tro gonna extend his item lead by getting a blink, and we're approaching rapidly at a 20k network lead. I think 12 minutes in, it was only like 3 to 4k, but yeah. 
with troll warlord games though, like, it makes the snowball extremely quickly. Alright, Rachel Potato going for the kill, gets a solo one, alright! That's two kills in a row now on Japs. It's a 800. Oh. Light. Kind of All right, nice, nice, nice. Sticking on it for Oh, look at the blue. Radiance middle attack. Center attack. All right. I was. Late to the party, half a second, and that was it. <laughs> that was, uh... Dazzle, I don't know what he was doing there. I think he made, like, ward... didn't get the ward off. That's going to be very... Very much in face. It's not over by any means, but very hard for... This is one of those times to talk about... You know, people say Dota is a game of mistakes, and... Where you have to capitalize on the enemy. Very hard out these kind. This is diamond manning at the moment. Yep. I mean, I think the hero you can catch is probably Tinker, but what the hell is your catch? I'm not exactly even sure how Jay was able to find the Tinker and kill him with Eclipse. Just found him farming in the jungle. Didn't see how that whole thing started. All right. I mean, I, I guess Earth Sphere is your best catch, but he doesn't have a blink or, or anything like that to position a good kick, so... I, was meant I don't think this. catch is happening, and honestly, it's hard to make a mistake when your frontliner has Crimson Guard, Solar Crest, and a Pipe, and he even has Infused Range Drops, which looks like a joke item at this stage of the game, but, I mean, Mineski already has no damage, so <laughs> blocking a nuke is almost backbreaking to them. Back to the catch is uh, typically when you have a hero like Sand King or just park them like uh, something that my friend who's would always tell me is that playing these heroes, uh, that your opponent just sit in the tree line, like you just sit there for like two minutes because there's nothing for you to do. Playing against a hero like a Tinker, you sit in the tree line, catch, but this guy doesn't have that. Uh... That sounds like uh, the Jimmy Holst school of Dota. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, it's actually from Austin. Austin is. Uh, just sit in the trees if there's nothing for you to do. You gotta jump tag you. Get the tinker. That was just kind of both. Alright, Maneski, one last desperate smoke. BKB not completed on Lunia. Despite of that, they want to take a fight. And Roshan is uh, being bombed. Gunned down very quickly. By the time they even get there, it will be done. Roll coming through on the left side here by Adam. Silence, not gonna pop out in time, and the Aegis is gonna get taken. Time is uh, written down, but Eclipse? Oh, where's the Eclipse going? I'm not sure. Alright, that's right, one. The first one will be brought down. The bolt's gonna fly through. Spells are being dropped, and uh, the people that are hitting the floor is uh, all Mineski. There you go. Just getting cleaned up here. It's basically game. Uh, they can talk a little bit of guess. But essentially over it. I think how the game went was uh Vineski lost all three ranks. Yeah, I think the Earth Spirit uh they, they picked it a little too early. I don't think they hear not that strong, or if you are you need to have a does very little for Bristol back, you know. The thing is, they did end up killing the person, they zoned him a little bit, but he spent, you know, a lot of his time. He wasn't able to help them. So, meanwhile, he's pressing and offering Bristol back. You know, Chris. Pressing it, Chris. So, that. that... Oh, no, I think it's hard to make a hero like this here work when every win that you have loses without the Bristol being there. Like, her spirit had to be the, the gap stopper, right? And if he's not there, bottom, he's not there, mid Right now, the whole team is losing. What a Torn Soul combo. That's gonna hit through all of Nesky. He will go down very quickly. Mag has an ultimate. That will only preserve his life a little bit longer. Nice Hurricane might can push it back, but it does not matter. It will gain on him. GG is gonna get called. And, uh, that's all she wrote. 
that's the will be eliminated from the epicenter Moscow land qualifier. And Baseless has earned themselves another opportunity to take on Clutch Gamer in the best of the league grand final. Just uh, immaculately played by Faceless. Need Earth Spirit to win every. Gonna have a pretty. Niski drafting a bit awkward there. Uh, I'd say I like Faceless. Much easier to play.